Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is about where to go to get your long stay visa to retire in Thailand or if you're under 50 what options you have to stay long term. Now I've spoken to key visa at length already uh, and I've gone through all the main points about getting various types of visa with them and they asked me as I'm a native English speaker to explain everything on their behalf. Now you can see we're directly in front of, of a key visa. Let me just show you on the map exactly where key visa is. Okay. Let me just show you on the map here. You see the cursor? That's Central Festival, that's Walking Street, that's Sukhumvit Road. You come down to where South Patia Road joins Sukhumvit Road and then just near there is Big Sea South. Now there's a, along the side of Big Sea South is the side entrance and that's where Key Visa is. So I'll just show you now. So let's just drop that in and, and we'll show you exactly where it is. So there is Key Visa. Now directly behind me is the side entrance of, B of Big Sea South. Okay, got it guys? Okay, let's carry on. So we're going to have a walk down Soy 5 Pratamnak while we have a chat. Now, uh, it's a really good soy. There's lots of stuff on it. And, and I'll point out various things on the way as we go down from the Pratamnak uh, road at where s the 7-Eleven is all the way down to the beach. And I'll point out various things as we have a chat about both visas and driving license. Okay? Also, in this video, we're going to give you full information about exactly all the details and all the uh, documents you need and everything to renew your existing Thai either car or motorbike license. You don't have to go th through an agent. Obviously, the very first time it would be advisable to go through an agent, but if it's a, r a renewal, you can do it yourself, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Now, firstly, we'll just talk about the normal tourist exemption stamp which you get at the airport when you arrive. So there are many countries where that applies. Now currently you get a 30 day stamp which can be renewed for immigration uh, for about 2000 baht. Now the staff of Key Visa will do this renewal for you. you so you don't have to waste half a day at immigration. Now, now depending on your age uh, if you're married to a Thai lady or have Thai children, there are different types of visa available. So we can start with a type O retirement visa to stay in Thailand if you're over 50 years of age. Now, you should not do this process in your own country at a Thai embassy. As you cannot get a type O visa, they will force you to get a type O A visa which requires very expensive insurance with a Thai only insurance company which you may not want. Better come to Thailand on a 60 day tourist visa or a visa exemption stamp if you like and then within the first week after you arrive come here to see Key Visa. Now what paperwork do people need to bring with them when they want to get a, a type or retirement visa? You need your passport, obviously, and just two passport size photographs. Now, you will also need the following, which Key Visa can help you with. You'll need a bank, bank, bank account, which is not easy to get on its own, as in ask you to provide loads and loads of info from your embassy and all sorts of things. Um, but if you go through Key Visa, it's a lot easier. Now, you need proof of where you're staying, like a condo lease or a hotel invoice. Uh, you need 800,000 Thai baht or 23,000 US dollars in this bank, this bank, bank account you, you've just opened. Now, there is an option to show that you can transfer 65,000 baht, which is $1,900 US dollars per month as a pension into this bank account. However, that would be impossible to show on your first year as you've only just opened the bank account. So that 65,000 option only really becomes viable 
after the end of the first year when you have proof to show you've got you've transferred the money over a year uh, so your first year really has to show 800,000 baht in your bank up bank now regarding the 800,000 baht um, it, which needs to be in your new bank account some of you guys have shown some reluctance to transfer that amount to Thailand which I do understand uh, now if you're one of those guys then once again key visa can help with that problem or as Darren used to say it can be facilitated now when you have your retirement visa you will then have to go to immigration or an agent like key visa every 90 days to confirm your residency and this doesn't necessarily run in conjunction with your visa they're two separate things so don't mix them up and the timings are different as well so um, the, the staple a small slip of paper into your passport giving you the date of the next 90 days so if you don't want uh, any hassle losing half a, half a day at immigration then key readers can do this for you as well now something else you should know is that the normal visa is a single entry visa but if you intend to go in and out of Thailand several times in a year then you will need a multiple entry visa which costs about 4,000 baht or 116 US dollars extra on top of the normal visa cost now if it's your first retirement visa then you need to get two visas which can be done together the type O I mentioned earlier and a retirement visa and the cost of this is usually 35,000 Thai baht or 950 US dollars uh, but the second retirement visa a year later is just a little over half that price now uh, something else which we uh, should be mentioned is the re-entry permit now if you do leave Thailand even for one day and you don't have a multiple entry visa then you are advised to get a re-entry permit to safeguard your visa which key visa can obtain for you now then going on to marriage visas the amount you need to show in your Thai bank is halved to 400,000 baht or 10,900 US dollars. Key visa can help to facilitate this as well. Now, what happens if you get divorced when you have a marriage visa? Okay, you get divorced from your Thai wife, you then lose your marriage visa immediately, automatically. And you need straight away to change to a different type of visa. Now, if you're over 50, you can use do a retirement visa. Now, another type of visa which they do is uh, a dependency visa. Now, if you've got a child here, you can get a dependency visa uh, to take care of a child. And you don't need to be married to the, to the child's mother. You just need a DNA test to prove it's your child. Another possibility for younger guys, because that would apply to younger guys as well, uh, is an education visa for young guys under 50. Uh, it's possible for a year. The schools have fairly high prices, but you can take advantage of that and learn Thai, you know, if you want to stay here. Um, and they also, Kiwis also do a visa to take a Thai person back to your own country. Now that takes around about eight weeks to, to do that with most countries. Um, border runs are available again. Um, but they're limited to two a year uh, overland by bus but if you fly out to say Cambodia or Vietnam uh, and then then you can make several trips before you're questioned and each time uh, you do you can come and go uh, and you can extend the visa e each time you do that now Another thing which Kiwis do is renewing your own expired passport for your own country. Now with uh, a UK passport at the moment, that's taking a long time. It can take up to 16 weeks to renew a UK passport. 
but the a US passport is much quicker as they're printed in Bangkok and Irish and Australian passports can also be renewed now if you're unsure about visa options to suit your situation just come down and ask which is the best route to take you don't need to make an appointment you can just walk in now opening hours are Monday to Friday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. okay so the next subject we're going to talk about is driving licenses Thai driving license for both cars and motorbikes um, now if you already have one then I'll show you exactly how to renew it yourself without bothering to use an, use an agent if you have not got one yet if you're only a newbie and you've got a license from your own country um, then you're better to use an agent because you don't know the score you've never been to the transport office you don't know what goes on it, it's all new so better use an agent for the very first time after that you don't need to spend 5,000 baht or whatever it is for an agent you can do it yourself I mean I was chatting to Anne at Key Visa and I said about doing um, my, my five years was finished and I needed to new licenses and I was I was just talking about getting an agent and using one and Anne said no why you, you you've already done it three times you know the whole business you know the score inside out why don't you do it yourself and save yourself like four or five thousand baht and I thought yeah she's right <laughs> so I just had to, to write down what I needed uh, and she wrote it all down for me and gave it me and I'm going to put this on the screen right now so this is the list which Anne gave me of everything you need to do and everything you need okay so just <laughs> take a picture of that <laughs> and we'll just run through it I mean basically you start off you need your passport obviously and you need copies you need to do every every one of these documents you need a photocopy or two photocopies sorry um so with a passport it's it's the page with your face on and a page with your visa on okay so you need two pictures uh two copies of those um your old driving license you're you ha i mean I, I have an old or had an old Thai motorbike license and a car license so they were just due to expire so you need to take those along you need to take the rental contract from your property the where you are your house your condo wherever you're saying you have a rental contract or if you're staying in a hotel then uh, an invoice from the hotel um, then you need to get a letter from the doctor which is really simple I mean the other day I did a um, health care video and the first place I went to was Bacow Clinic now that's where I went and all you do is just go in and say I want a letter for the driving license and they just check, check your ID and this and that and if you fill out a form that they, they give you a letter it, they charge you maybe 100 baht I think that's all it was so that's really simple there's no tests or anything it's, it's just a letter uh, then you need to go to immigration in uh, in Jom Tien and you need to you know, get a residence letter from immigration and that's uh, it's like a couple of hours of, of, of work that in but it, it, it doesn't cost that hard day I think it's about 500 baht I think for the letter but it's just that you've got to go there and when you go to immigration there's um, uh, two buildings uh, they, they built them recently in the last year or so there's like one on the left one on the right so basically I'll just show you a picture off Google Maps I'll just show you a picture of what, what we're talking about and see there's two new offices at the front the one on the left is the first one you go in like I think it's called building A, a and then the one on the right is the second one okay I'll call it building B so you go in the first one and then you show your passport and um, your TM30 and all, all the stuff that I'm going to show you to get. And they give you, a p <laughs> they do this twice, they give you um, a, a number. Then you have to go across the, to the other side uh, and, and say, well, uh, show them the number and they, they give you uh, a letter and another number. And then you go back to the other side and then you come back to the first side, crazy. And then you get, uh, they say, come back in an hour and we'll give you a letter. So they charge you, I think, 500 baht it was. And you have a letter from Im from immigration. Okay, It takes a, a couple of hours. So that's the other thing you need. And then, in, in addition to that, 
Right. In addition to that, you need a, a TM30, which is a, a, f a form for the police. It's an official form. Uh, you get it from um, your juristic office in, in your, your condo or whoever, or from your landlord. Uh, and it's just uh, basically a police confirmation letter saying where um, you live. That's what that is. And then you need a copy of the condo blue book. Now, the blue book is the actual book which I the owner of the property has and when you when you open it on the very first page um the, the book the m you need a copy of that to show where you're actually staying so you need two two photocopies of that uh, which again you can get from the jurist office a couple of passport pictures you will need at immigration um and then you need to complete the online driver training certificate okay uh, now if you look at that um the, the blue picture i put on at the beginning with the list at the top right there's a red um website now you use that with your phone i used it with my phone i used to open, put the, put the name of the website in and it came up with uh this let me show you what it came up with okay so this is the home page of the website if you look at the bottom it says for foreigners which is in English so you click that and then it will give you a, a whole series it's about 40 minutes long there's about 10 minutes uh, for each little video it shows you a bit, a bit of a video and then it asks questions about it's like a driver training video it asks questions about the 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 um test for example uh, the first one is so simple the first one had four questions uh, after they've done the first 10 minutes before you go to the next level and you have to answer it okay uh, but there were, there were three really 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 dumb easy questions and uh, and then the last one was what's it what's the most dangerous thing to do and the last one was tailgating which is like following close behind like a meter behind another vehicle which is obviously very dangerous so you just click that and it's that easy it's that easy um so then they go to the second one and you do the same again third one fourth one and when you've finished it all and got it all correct which is as i say it's easy you have to be dumb not to be able to do it <laughs> um then they they give you this uh official little uh certificate that pops up which I'll show you now so that's what I got after I'd finished everything correctly well, obviously I blanked out certain bits um, and then you have to then take that on your phone you have to have it copied two copies again and take it on your phone when you go to the driving uh, uh, transport office okay so the next thing uh, as I said, you need two copies of everything, including the driving licenses, original ones, everything. You want two photocopies. Then you go to make an appointment at the transport office. You take everything with you so they can go and check. And you walk, you go to the transport office. I'll show you where it is. I'll show you on the map. But when you walk in, at the front, there's uh, like there's desks outside, and one uh, b bunch of people. It says Thai and Thai. And the other one, it says foreigner. So obviously, you go to the foreigner, and um, they they check all your stuff, and everything's okay. They make an appointment. It, it was actually two weeks ahead of the appointment to that busy. Uh, so then you come back on that day and make sure you've got t two photocopies of everything because I forgot to do it for the driving license and I had to quickly run across the road where there's some photocopy people and get it done and then run back again you know uh, and then you go inside and you actually have you have a little test which is um, simply uh, a, a, a reaction test with a brake pedal where you sit down uh, and have a, an accelerator and a brake pedal in front of you if for driving a car obviously so you, then you have to put, hold the accelerator level uh, and there's a green light comes on and then the, the red light come, switches to a red light as soon as it does that you've got to hit the brake pedal if you do that within a certain fraction of a second that, that you pass okay and the other one is um, they have like traffic lights um, but obviously the red and the orange and the green are, 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 can be changed to go in different locations so you can have green at the top and red at the bottom and they just flat flash all these lights up 
and you've got to say red green yellow whatever and you get it all right that's okay and that's it then you basically go and um and uh pay your money and which was only with was for, for the two uh, licenses was 760 baht which obviously is not the same as a, a, as four or five thousand whatever it was for an agent um, <clears throat> then you have your picture taken and then you wait and you, you get your licenses so I now have two brand new licenses and I didn't use an agent I did it all myself <laughs> so you can do it yourself if you've been done it before I would not recommend it if you haven't done it before to be honest with you I think you need to have done it before um, so if it's the first time I would definitely use an agent but no reason to um, if you don't mind a little bit of running around it's not it's, it's half a day or a, a day maybe um, and you also need to go to the uh, uh, the driving um, uh, transport office twice because you have to go to make an appointment and and show everything they check everything and then you have to go for the, for the actual appointment um, let me just show you a map now of where it is well you see uh, central patio is to the left and then you go, you go across to the dark side and then you go right up to the top end and you see where it says Chombri uh, uh, Provincial Transport Office that from central party up to there is about 30 minutes on a motorbike or in a car uh, so if you've got your own transport it costs you nothing does it a bit of petrol so you, you, know, you know you can go up there uh, uh, make your appointment then come back go up the second time two weeks later and do the actual tests and then you get your license <laughs> so um, basically that's how you do it okay it's not difficult just make a note of, uh, of the list and then make sure you go through it all get it all done get two copies of photocopies of everything and you can do it yourself right <laughs> i know some of you will be put off by that but uh, uh, and think oh i'm not bothering i'll go to an agent your choice entirely your choice up to you you know but um it, I, I i didn't mind doing it i thought it was okay i i wanted to learn anyway and i thought it would also make a good video if i did it myself um as i've said before previously uh have a look at patreon it's really getting popular now because some of the some of the videos are absolutely excellent really even though i say it myself they're really good fun uh, and a lot of you guys keep commenting on how how good the patreon videos are so we'll just uh, say a quick goodbye to uh, Anne and the staff at key visa and uh, also I'll, I'll put up the contact details okay so it's being run of course as usual by Anne the manageress uh, and uh, the other staff and of course Darren's wife hello Anne how are you yeah well thank you yeah. how are you today good very good very good great how are you I'm okay fine. right all right I'll see you later yeah, thank okay you. so if you think the video was informative and useful then please subscribe, like, share and ring the bell. And thank you very much for watching guys. See you on the next video.